Hello, everybody. Welcome to day 161 of A Song A Day Keeps the Virus Away. I'm Sally Rogers, and today I thought I would bring to you another song that I learned as a child, but it has stayed with me throughout my life and is uh, popular the world around, in fact. In fact, it's even called the unofficial national anthem of Australia. This is the song, of course, Waltzing Matilda, which isn't a waltz, it's sung to a march, but um, the words are uh, come from um, slang from, from men who used to work out in the outback, itinerant workers, hobo type people, um, which was a jolly swagman. The swagman in the story is, um, is the sort of hobo. The billabong is a watering hole. And a kulaba tree, I've never seen one, but hope to someday. And uh, he watched for his billy to boil. That was like a a little can, a little uh, stove that you could use on a, on a um, campfire. Like we used to make in Girl Scouts. We used to just take a can and put a couple holes in it and stick it over the fire and you could cook an egg on the top of it. And uh, to waltz Matilda, waltzing Matilda meant that you were just wandering around uh, with all your belongings in a Matilda and a little swag bag. You just put all your stuff in there and tie it on a stick and off you go. Um, so waltzing Matilda. A jumbuck is a sheep, and um, the squatter, we think of squatters as people who are sort of illegally taking land in, in Australia. The squatters were, um, oh, the, what do we call them here? The, the squatters were uh, allowed to own land if they sat on it long enough, and or squatted on it long enough. Um, in fact, they even called the, the landowning class the squatocracy. So um, that's what the, the squatter is. He catches him stealing a, a sheep, stealing a jump buck, and the troopers come, and of course, at the end, I won't tell you if you don't know this song, but the end is probably what made me want to sing the song over and over and over again when I was a kid, because it has a ghost. Please sing along. Once the jolly swag man camped by a billabong under the shade of a kulaba tree. And he sang as he watched and he waited for his billy to boil. You'll come a waltzing Matilda with me. Waltzing Matilda, waltzing Matilda. You'll come a waltzing Matilda with me. And he sang as he watched. And he waited for his belly to boil. You'll come a waltzing Matilda with me. Down came a jump up to drink by the billabong. Up jumped the swag man and grabbed him with glee. He sang as he tucked that jump up in his tucker bag. You'll come a waltzing Matilda with me. Waltzing Matilda, waltzing Matilda, you'll come a waltzing Matilda with me. And he sang as he stuffed that jump buck in his tucker bag, you'll come a waltzing Matilda with me. Up rode the squatter, mounted on his thoroughbred. Down came the troopers, one, two, three. Where's that jolly jumbuck you've got in your tucker bag? You'll come a-waltzing Matilda with me. Waltzing Matilda, waltzing Matilda. You'll come a-waltzing Matilda with me. Where's that jolly jumbuck? You've got in your tucker bag, you'll come a waltzing Matilda with me. Up jumped the swag man and sprang into the billabong. You'll never catch me alive, cried he, and his ghost may be heard as you pass by the billabong. You'll come a waltzing Matilda with me. Waltzing Matilda, waltzing Matilda. You'll come a waltzing Matilda with me. And his ghost may be heard as you pass by the billabong. You'll come a waltzing Matilda with me. Waltzing Matilda. 
Matilda, waltzing Matilda, you'll come a waltzing Matilda with me. And his ghost may be heard as you pass by the billabong. You'll come a waltzing Matilda with me. Waltzing Matilda by Banjo Patterson. What a great song. Mm. Written, I think it was first sung publicly in 1895. It was written some just a little bit before that. And the tune apparently comes from a march that was written for uh, the Craigie Hill March, I think it's called. I've, I've got to go look up the Craigie Hill March now and, and hear what it sounds like and see if it's the same melody or if it's been folk processed somewhat over the years. So, uh, oh, I just realized I forgot to plug my microphone in. I hope the sound was not terrible today. Um, and, uh, oh, tomorrow is the last day that you can order my upcoming new album, Old Friends I've Never Met, um, at a discount. So get to that website, and you can uh, order it now. And you can order it as a CD or as a download. And the download comes with a... A PDF of all the lyrics, and or you can also order it as a cute little thumb drive in a cute little box. There it is, oh, there it is, in all its glory, little thumb drive, and uh, that thumb drive comes also with the lyrics in PDF form as well as the same little booklet that'll be in the CD that go with the, the uh, thumb drive. So, in the thumb drive, you can listen to it in your car, you can listen to it at home, anywhere where you've got a USB port on a computer or in a car. So, with that, I will bid you a fond farewell. Thank you so much for being here today. Isn't it nice to have it light out back there? Oh, and there's even some pink in the clouds out there. I hate it that it's sun setting so early, but there you go. Thank you so much for being here, and I'll see you again tomorrow. Tomorrow I get my stitches out. Actually, I don't have any stitches. I have staples. 26 staples get removed tomorrow. Take care. Bye.